Imagine for a moment that your life is completely organized. You have everything under control, your mind is clear and you can fully focus on the task at hand. It sounds great, right? Well, in this video summary of the Getting Things Done by David Allen, I will explain the GTD method that will help you to get more things done in less time and also I will share a few examples at the end so you can understand it better. To get things done, first you must define what done means, what's the desired outcome and what doing looks like, what is the next physical action that will get you closer to that outcome. I really love this quote, your mind is for having ideas, not holding them. The whole idea is to let your mind relax by building a system you trust that will serve as your external brain that remembers information and reminds you to do the right things at the right time. This is not easy. It will take a lot of dedication to make it work, but the benefits are huge. The 5-step GTD process looks like this. First, capture everything that has your attention. Second, clarify what each item means and what to do about it. Then, organize the results, which become options we review and then choose to do. For me, the hardest part about GTD is the capture. I've tried GTD many times, but I felt simply because I couldn't get over this step. David says that first you must capture all of your open loops, which are things that pull your attention. This is everything you have to do, you want to do, or you dream of doing. Every little thing that is unfinished or undecided. He says that things are on your mind because you want them to be different than they currently are, and yet you still haven't clarified the outcome you want. You haven't decided on the next physical action you can take to move you closer or you haven't put reminders in a system you trust. But here is the thing, when you start GTD for the first time, the capture phase can take days and even weeks and Ain't nobody got time for that. I quit on this phase many times and to avoid that now, I'm capturing ideas and thoughts as they come and for the old notes, to do's and stuff like that, I capture whenever I can. After you've captured everything, you can start to clarify what each item means, asking the question, what is this? Make sure that you process the top item first, only one item at a time and decide what to do with it in 2 minutes or less. This should be done every day. I'll try to explain the GTD process with this diagram. It looks scary, but once you understand it, it's not that scary and I'll explain it step by step. The first thing we do is to capture all of our stuff. These are the open loops I mentioned previously. This is everything that's unfinished or undecided, everything you want to do, you have to do, you must do. Everything goes into an inbox. The inbox is where you collect all of your items. It can be a physical box or it can be in a digital tool like Evernote. Now when you start to process items, you take one item from in and ask for it, what it is. You must clarify what it is exactly. It can be a note, it can be a to do or whatever. And ask yourself, is it actionable? Do you want to act on it soon? If you don't, then you can trash it away, if it's completely useless, you can keep it as a reference if it's just information or you can put it into someday maybe list if it can be actionable in the future. All items that have no potential future action or no reference value go into the trash. For example, some old user manual for a device you no longer have that goes into trash. For reference, you can put some contracts, warranties, messages you want to keep, emails, things like that. And in the someday maybe list, you can put courses you want to take, events you want to go, and things like that. These are things you want to do basically in the future. Okay, so we are back here. Now, if the item is actionable, we come here and ask what is the next action. And if it's a physical action you can take right away, which means a single step, you ask yourself this, can I do it in 2 minutes or less? And if the answer is yes, I can do that, then do it now, 
because you waste more time trying to capture it and track it than to actually do it. Now if you can do it in 2 minutes or less, now ask yourself if you are the right person to do it. If you are not, then delegate it to someone else and put a reminder in a waiting for list that will keep track what's delegated to whom and when. Now if you are the right person to do it, then ask yourself is it time or date specific. If it is, then it must go on your calendar. Everything that goes on your calendar must get done at the time that it's appointed or not at all. And if it's not date or time specific but needs to get done as soon as possible, then that action goes into the next actions list. These are predefined single step actions we can choose from based on context, time available, energy level and priority. And one more thing I didn't explain, it's this step here. If the next action is not really action, but it's actually mutable actions that need to be taken, then you find yourself a project. And David defines projects as desired outcomes that can be accomplished in less than a year. And they consist of multiple actions. For each project, you do planning and you produce a project plan. In the project plan, you define what done means and what doing looks like. And in each project plan, you have actions. And those actions during your review sessions will come here. And you again, <laughs> gonna ask what is the next action. If it's a single step, you go down. And if it's not, you create a sub project for the current project. Okay, for the examples, I, I put some items from my collection box into Notepad so I can show you how it's done. And let's take the first item. Road to success is boring. So it goes out of my inbox and asks this question. What this is? Well, this is a YouTube topic I want to cover in the future. It's not actionable right now. So it goes into a reference. I have a note with YouTube topics, so I'll keep it there. <laughs> the next one, buy toilet paper. Okay. Is it actionable? Yes, I want to act on it soon. What's the next action? Go to the store and buy the toilet paper. It's a single step. Can I do it in two minutes or less? Nope. Am I the right person to do it? Yes. Is it time date specific? No, but it needs to get done as soon as possible. So it goes to my next actions list. So we're done with that one. Coding YouTube channel. What it is. I want to start another YouTube channel with, because it has a lot of things that needs to get done in order to complete this one. So this goes into the project list. Face mask. What it is. I want to try face mask for my skin. I know it's a girly thing, but I want to try to see if it makes my skin better. So it is actionable, but I don't want to act on it right now. So I'll put it in my someday maybe list. Intro clip YouTube. Okay, uh, I need an intro for my channel, Black Screen Education, so it is actionable and it's not a simple action because there are many things involved again, so it goes to my project list. 8020 video, okay, this is a YouTube topic I want to cover in the future, so I will keep it as a reference in a note called YouTube topics. So it goes there. Draw my life. What have I done? Okay, this is a YouTube video I want to create and it is definitely actionable, but it will take a lot of time and I'll put it in my Sunday maybe list. Organized. 
place for everything and everything on its place. This is another code that goes into the reference. Haircut. Okay, I need a new haircut. It's actionable. The next action is to go to the barber. Can I do it in two minutes? Nope. Am I the right person to do it? Yes. It's not really time or date specific, so I'll put it on my next actions. The next item, add King Kong song to basketball playlist. Okay, this is actionable. The next action is to add the song to my playlist. It's a single step. Can I do it in two minutes or less? Yes. So I'll do it right now and I'll put it in my playlist. That's done. And we have this one. Latino lesson, 10 June, 19 and 7 PM. Okay, it's actionable. The next action is to go to the lesson. I can do it in two minutes or less. I am the right person to do it. And it's time and date specific, so it will go to my calendar. 